Welcome to the Strato External Document Management System. This demo is built using the BlockApp Strato blockchain platform. This application allows users to share documents, track various versions of a document, and verify the authenticity of each version. For this demo, we are recreating a typical use case where we upload a draft agreement, make some changes to the agreement, and then all parties agree to the updated agreement. With that, let's dive right in. So we are going to go ahead and log in as user one. Strato allows us to integrate with various identity services to provide key management. For this demo, we're using Keycloak. Uh, while this loads, uh, let's just take a quick look at the sample document that we will be using. So this is just a sample terms and conditions that we downloaded off the internet. Uh, let's go ahead and upload this file to our document management system. And Let's put in a description and with the description, let's also put in a comment. This is an initial draft and then let's go ahead and click on upload to upload it. So what's happening in the background right now is that the system has uploaded the file to S3. It has also hashed the file and it's creating a signed record of that hash with the user's private key as a smart contract on the chain. So we can see that that's happened. And if you click on the document itself, you can now look at the various details of this document. So uh, let's go ahead and add another member. We'll add user two and wait for this user two to get added. So without, without this step, user two would not be able to see this document. Each document is actually on its own private chain and it can only be viewed by its members. So the member has been added and uh, we should see this new event also pop up on the audit log. So we can see that a new version was uploaded, which was version one, and then a new member was added. So now let's go ahead and log in as user two uh, and see what user two can do with this document. So user two logs in, um, the system checks user two's permissions, uh, displays the files that user two has access to, um, user two clicks on the file, and once this page loads up, user two can download this file. And after downloading this file, user two can open it up, maybe make some changes. And we're going to go ahead and make some changes just to make sure that you know the hashes are different. There's some changes. Let's say we, we go ahead and add a date. So we go ahead and add this date, we save the file, uh, and then we go back and upload this new version. drag and drop this and let's add another comment. Uh, let's tell everyone that we updated the date. Go ahead and upload this file. So as this file uploads, we, we get a message that this version has been uploaded. We also see it on the audit log. So every change that you ever make to this file, all of it is recorded and all of it shows up. So let's also go ahead and add user three, um, just so that we have, we have three users uh, that can all see the file. The member has been added. Uh, we see this new event also show up on the audit log. The audit log can be filtered. So I can filter it to just see the version events or just the member events, or I can look at all events. So let's log out and let's try and log in as user three. So user three logs in, uh, same drill. Uh, system checks user three's permissions, shows user three the files. Uh, user 3 can click, look at the file's details, and user 3 also sees everything that everyone else can see. And user 3 says that, you know, okay, we have two versions, so I'm going to download the second version. Uh, let's say that this is the final version, and then user 3 can verify this file by uploading the file again. The reason we make the user upload the file again is to prove that the user has actually looked at the file and is in possession of it, uh, and is actually verifying the version that they intend to verify. So once that happens, we can see, we can log out and go back to user two and, and just look at user two's view of, of the same events. And let's just sign in and have user two also verify the same document. So as user two, we click on the details again and user two can see that there's one verification because of the 
on, on the version dashboard and you can see that okay user 3 has verified so let's go ahead and verify this as user 2 so you upload the same file the system checks the hashes and if the hashes match the system records uh, a verification signed by the user's private key uh, also the verification button option disappears because you've already verified this version so let's log out and uh, let's uh, log in as user 4 and the only reason I'm doing this is to show that you know user 4 cannot actually see the files because user 4 is not a member so the same thing happens system checks user 4's permissions finds that user 4 does can't see anything and doesn't show them the file so with that let's go back to user 1's view user 1 is the original user is the owner of the document uh, let's refresh the view so we can look at all the recent events and all the activity that has happened with this file and user one logs in and says oh there's some versions there's been some changes uh, you can use the drop down to look at the hashes of the various versions you can filter the audit log to look at any events that you might be interested in and uh, user one sees okay everyone has verified it i don't have a problem so i'm also going to verify it but as user one, I make a mistake and mistakenly upload the wrong document. So the verification actually fails because the hashes don't match. So the user must upload the correct file in order for the verification to succeed. So go ahead and verify it. And what we'll see now is the uh, check mark column on the versions um, panel will actually turn green to signify that all members have verified this version. And we can also see all these events in the correct chronological order show up. And now let's just uh, transfer ownership of the document. So let's say we want to make user three the final owner. So we're going to transfer ownership. The only difference between an owner and a member is that an owner can remove members and an owner can also transfer ownership. So once this is complete, we should see that user one can no longer remove members or transfer ownership. And that's it. Thank you for watching our demo.